What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. Sorry it took me so long to upload this video. It's actually been somewhat of a hectic week. And even though we do have a busy life, you know, outside of YouTube, outside of social media, you know, we should always make time for stuff that we really want to do. So with that being said, today we're talking about mat forming. What is mat forming and the side effects of mat forming. So let's get right into it. So pretty much, what is mat forming? A lot of people probably don't know. Now mat forming is an oral diabetic medication that you can take to help regulate your blood sugars with diet and exercise. Now with that being said, diet is 90% of what helps your body regulate and function the way it should. So if you're not eating right, then next thing you know, they'll just throw off everything. Your blood sugars will be abnormal. Um, you know, your results in the gym won't be coming in like they should because all you're doing is eating crap. You're still eating cheeseburgers, you're still eating McDonald's, you're still eating ice cream at home crying about a movie that you're watching even though you're all alone. And you know, for our bodies to really function at an optimal level, we should always watch what we eat and we should always make sure we're eating right and clean. I say at least six times a week. Now that I'm diabetic, it's seven times, but before then, it was at least six times a week. I would give myself a cheat day, just so I won't go crazy, but that's just me. Now, let's move on. Now, even though it is an oral diabetic medication, it is mainly used for people with type 2 diabetes. Now, sometimes with people such as myself, we are prescribed metformin, even though we're type 1. And that's just to help our body um, regulate our blood sugar so we're not on insulin. Like, I haven't been on insulin since I've been diabetic, and I'm still not on insulin, thank God. But metformin can be used alongside insulin and other diabetic medications like um, Actos. Now we're going to talk about some of the common side effects of metformin. Now this might get a little disgusting, so we're going to get right into it. So, acute infection, diarrhea, nausea, like you feel like you're throwing up, gas, head pain, inadequate vitamin B12, swelling of the abdomen, taste problem, throwing up and weight loss, and frequent headaches, and trouble breathing, which is a serious one, it's not a common one. Now some of these rare side effects you might experience is acute respiratory distress, increased blood acidity, inflammation of the liver, will stop of the bile flow, liver damage, Low blood sugar. Magoblastic anemia. I think I say that right. Now, always with every medication you take, especially here in America, medications are a double-edged sword. You know, medications since I met farming, you know, it does a really good job for you because it is um, helping you with your blood sugar. It's helping you regulate everything. But at the same time, as you just saw from the information I just gave, um, it can really cause a lot of damage to your body as well. So like we said, metformin can lead to um, bouts of low blood sugar. So now we're going to talk about the symptoms of low blood sugar. Headaches, you know, which I got frequently in the past, but I never had low blood sugar. Hunger. Sweating. Irritability. Dizziness. Nausea. Fast heart rate. And feeling anxious or shaky. Now that's kind of funny because I feel all this before and like I said I never had a fast blood sugar but my blood sugar always been pretty high. You know I used to get this way before. Sometimes I did think like no my blood sugar dropping or is it like skyrocketing right now so I need to let me check my blood sugar and uh and, you know sometimes it's just me maybe it's just because I didn't have enough sleep that day or I didn't drink enough water that day or I didn't eat enough that day you know I was getting these symptoms. You know, sometimes when you're not feeling well and you're diabetic, we always want to rush, you know, our blood sugar are dropping, you know, it's skyrocketing. A lot of times that's not the case, you know, it's other factors, you know. Whenever we're not feeling right or anything like that, we just always can't assume it's our blood sugar. We just always can't assume, like, you know, our body is, like, shutting down on us because it's not the case. You know, a lot of times there are other factors into why we're not feeling well. Um, it could just be a common cold. It could just be because you're sore from the gym. Like, I'm about to be today after I hit chest and back. You know, just so many other factors, you know. But it's always good to know your blood sugar. Um, but don't always assume that your blood sugar is the reason why your body is not functioning the way you want it to. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some of the ways to counter um, low blood sugars. One of them is to keep fast-acting insulin near you. So if you notice your blood sugar is dropping, then you need something like juice. You need something like chocolate candy. Something that you can intake and it'll spike your blood sugar right away. Now, why is this? Because your blood sugar plummeting. We don't want to just let it keep pumping while your insulin is taking a while to work. No, we want the insulin to work right away. So you want something fast acting. So you know, you know, it would be awesome if we all can walk around with an IV pump 
um, with an IV line of um, orange juice going into us, you know, chocolate, you know, that way when we get low blood sugar, you know, it's right there, it goes right into our system, plus it'll probably feel amazing, but you know, that's not the case. So you always want something like candy, like orange juice, crackers, raisins, non-diet soda, even a medication such as glucogen. But glucogen is actually used in an emergency. So like if your blood sugar is just dropping, then you know you need something that can react even faster in orange juice and candy. That's what glucogen is for. Now if you're having difficulties breathing, swollen face, swollen lips, go to the ER. Don't even call your doctor. Just go right to the ER if you need to. Call it EMS, you know, just get yourself there, get treated right away because um, you don't want to let what's happening um, go prolonged because it can cause serious damage. Okay, guys, so now a couple days on Instagram, go follow me at Diabetic James. Um, you know, I made a post about how I went off my medication for about two weeks. You know, what actually decided that factor was um, because actually, right now, I'll be honest, I always wanted to see if I can get my um, diet down or my blood sugar down on its own without the medication so I ran out of metformin so I'm like you know what let me see if I can actually control my blood sugar without the metformin I tried it went to do it for two weeks at first it felt like just every other day you know um, god I love that flavor sorry at first it felt like just every other day you know my blood sugar is pretty much was in the same area you know it was actually coming down just a bit you know I was eating clean still like I am now but then I started getting side effects you know all the side effects I listed you know upset stomach I wasn't nauseous or nothing like that but I was getting headaches like a lot of soreness within my body and you know um I just wasn't feeling that great you know it's one of for about two weeks and I was still out doing my thing still taking photos you know still um, making posts on Instagram but you know I just wasn't feeling so hot it started to take a toll a little bit where um even with just like earlier this week I was looking like you know what I really need to get back on my medication because I wasn't feeling that great and you know um I don't hate myself or nothing like that I was testing my body I was seeing what worked and what don't work you know and from working in the health field I know that if I do this you know it would be some issues and I, I was prepared for those issues but the issues get hard so um I'm back on my metformin right now and I'm feeling great actually I'm not feeling sick like that nothing like that um uh, my blood sugars were high they weren't too high like they were in the 300s though, so they got pretty high, but it's nothing that my body haven't experienced before. But still though, it was, in a, it was in a range that I wasn't comfortable with. So I was like, you know what, I tried this for two weeks, it's not working out the way I wanted it to work out, so I'm gonna have to go back on my medication. So I did, I'm back on my metformin, I'm taking a thousand milligrams twice a day. I'm alone with Actos and along with my vitamins. And also, I'm still fasting for 16 hours a day and only eating in an 8 hour window. Now, a couple times I did vary because I had to meet with family on a holiday or do something um, that I really needed energy for, so I had to eat. But 99% of the time, I'm still fasting for 16 hours and only eating during an 8 hour window. Um, I'm not giving that up. You know, I actually enjoy doing that. Um, I actually think it helped my body look good. So, I'm still doing everything I can to actually um, regulate my blood sugar and get it down in a normal way. Because I'm not on insulin. I don't want to go on insulin. But if I have to, I want to do it in a way where I can just take the minimal amount of insulin. And keep my numbers down. And still just enjoy my life. Because I don't want to be one of the people who has to take it every day. Um, you know, nothing against them. But just like, that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to work towards. Because um, I don't want to be on this stuff. So if I do, I want to work in a way where it just, just be just the minimal. Uh, but you know, again, that's coming with me testing my body. That's coming with me testing stuff out and see what it actually works. Because you know, we just can't assume that something's gonna work if we never did it before. In the long run, like I said, metformin is important. Like I said, it's primarily used to treat type 2 diabetes, but it can be used to help with type 1 along with insulin and other medications. Um, but if you don't need this medication, don't take it. I know some women take it to help lose weight. Do not take this medication if you don't need it. Because all you're doing is forcibly lowering your blood sugars. And that is not a good thing. You know, all you're going to do is make yourself sick. And um, in the long run, that's not what it should be about. So I hope you guys have an awesome day today. So what I'd like for you to do is actually hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.